Hey everyone and welcome to another painting video. In today's video I talk about how important it is to have a website as an artist while I show you the creation process of my newest oil and acrylic study that I was working on in the last couple of days. When I started the painting I was 100% sure that I was painting Megan Fox until after having posted the picture on Instagram someone pointed out to me that my model is in fact, a person on Instagram with the name Irina. I have linked her account in the video description in case you want to check out her profile. Her pictures are so pretty and inspiring. This video is kindly sponsored by Wix. Wix is an online platform with which you can make the most beautiful websites and realize every idea you ever had about making websites. Which brings us right to the topic of the discussion. Do you need a website as an artist? In my opinion, absolutely yes. There is no better way for people to find you online than through your own website. Imagine someone is looking for your name after they have seen your art somewhere, but they can find you because on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter you used entirely different names. And even in case you used the same username on all the platforms, they might find your Facebook profile, but maybe they are not logged into Facebook or Twitter or don't even have an account. Or they only find your Instagram account and then only see your latest artworks or pictures of the food you ate or the traveling you did. Now they probably think that you might not even do that much art or it's too much of a hassle to scroll down your feed to find your art. I think you know where I am getting here. To prevent all of that chaos, it is good to have a website. Those of you who know me a little bit longer know that I worked as a web programmer in the past. In fact, I self-taught me how to make websites when I was a teenager and I made my own websites back then when the internet was a real mess and you still had flashing sparkles as your mouse cursor and the more animated GIFs you had on your website, the cooler your website was. <laughs> Over the years I watched with awe that now you don't need to have any experience or skill whatsoever with coding in order to make an amazing and impressive website. There are not many platforms on the internet that allows you to really realize every idea you have, but Wix is definitely one of them. Besides people finding you on the internet, there are many other good reasons why you should have a website as an artist, even if you don't do it as a business. Not only gives a website your craft a more professional look, you also never know what will come out of it. Maybe a company might approach you someday and wants to commission you to paint a mural. For me, listing all my gallery shows in the biography section of my website, for example, helped me getting invited into even more gallery shows. Also having a webshop is super important for many artists too. Even if you do it as a hobby, selling a couple of artworks or prints per month is a great way to get a little bit of extra income. Another important thing to mention is that we don't know how long all of these social media platforms will last. There are so many that got cancelled, like Vine for example, or like Facebook that is currently dying a slow and painful death. <laughs> then it's even more important that people remember your name and can find you on the internet. I really enjoy making websites and when Wix approached me I decided to show you how I used their editor to make a website. I took the chance to create something hopefully useful for you too. Every day I get tons of questions about what art materials I use and if I would try to answer them it would keep me on my phone all day long. So I just don't. <laughs> until I thought of a maybe useful solution for that problem. I decided to create a website dedicated to my favorite art materials. These are the materials that I use most often and in my recent paintings. I love that in the Wix editor you can download the Amazon app which you can connect to your Amazon affiliate account if you have one to showcase your product recommendations. By the way, many artists have their products listed somewhere either on their website or YouTube and using these links to buy something from Amazon is a great way to support them. Things like this function make the Wix editor stand out for me from other platforms and I absolutely love how beautifully my favorite products are displayed now. Yay! <laughs> I also contacted
disconnected the Wix support because I didn't know how to use the Amazon app multiple times on my website and they answered my question within 5 hours which was superb. Another thing that I wanted to show you about the editor is that you have so many possibilities to play around. It was so much fun. In fact so much fun that I had to try out all kind of different fonts and vector graphics just because they look so beautifully and stylish. I'm not the greatest designer myself. I'm actually very bad at design to be honest. So I was over the moon about all the options I could find there. I hate looking for fonts on the internet or stock graphics because that takes forever and having all of these options at hand was so exciting. I just wanted to create a piece of art with the editor to be honest. It was so much fun to add speech bubbles, put a cool quote in there and just discover what else I can do with that tool. It's definitely very inspiring if you like these sort of things. If you do your website yourself, there's no drag and drop editor whatsoever. You have to position all elements by yourself in the code. <laughs> this is the reason why I like when everything is in one place and I don't have to buy each little addition extra. And a drag and drop editor is a must have for me. It is an essential thing to not getting frustrated over the design of your website, believe me. In the beginning, the editor is a bit overwhelming because you have just so many options you can choose from, but you also get lots of helpful info pop-ups and short video tutorials that explain everything to you. And once you have figured out the basics, it's like playing Sims where you just have to build a beautiful home and first it with design furniture pieces. On my Wix website I decided to make three pages. The front page where I showcased my product recommendation, the blog page on which I published a couple of posts about which materials I used for my recent artworks and the about page. For the about page I even created a little video from footage that I had laying around. The video starts automatically and when you turn the sound on you get this beautiful garden atmosphere with birds chirping and the wind rustling through the leaves. I love that you have so many possibilities for adjustments, like letting the video loop or letting it start automatically or not. All these features are important if you want to realize your idea of a website. Most website editors have a very limited amount of functions and you are pretty much stuck with the basics which then results in your website looking like everyone else's website. I do already have a website myself, but if I wanted to create an entirely new website, I would add a gallery page to showcase all of my favorite artworks, for example. A list of all my video tutorials, my online shop, of course, and I would also show my Instagram feed. All of these features are included on the Wix platform. Of course, you could save all that money and create your own website by renting a web space and installing a content management system but that is a hassle, let me tell you. Being an artist is difficult enough and I don't want to spend any time doing bug fixing for my online shop, which can easily take hours. Today, as an artist, one needs to post regularly on social media, create lots of new pieces quickly to stay relevant and then also, if one wants to make art their business, develop plans on how to make money off it. That is a full-time job. It's stressful and it is exhausting sometimes. I don't want to spend any of my time with bug fixing my website or an online shop which stores sensitive information about my customers and should be 100% safe. This is why I switched from programming my website myself to use a professional platform that offers me security and a 24 hours customer service. Oh, and another thing that I can recommend when you are starting to make your own website, don't forget to link all your social media accounts there too and a contact form so that potential customers can reach out to you. If you have a YouTube channel even, you can showcase your favorite videos on your website and just make it an overall beautiful place to stay. Now, if you want to get started with Wix, just follow the URL in the video description, wix.com slash go slash Leoba and get 15% off a yearly premium plan with my code Leoba15. Thanks again to Wix for sponsoring my channel. That really helps me out. Let me know if you tried Wix yourself and show us how your website looks. You can post a link to it in the comment section if you like. It might take a couple of days until I find the time to approve the comments though, because YouTube tends to hide comments with links in them, but I will try my best to approve all of them. Or you can try writing your domain with blank spaces, maybe that helps too. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, even though it was a little bit different than usual. If you aren't a subscriber already, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye! Thank you.